For a long time, I overthought my sleep to an absurd level. I would obsess over every single protocol. I did absolutely everything I could to get better sleep. I did morning sunlight. I would not view bright light at night. I would get nine plus hours of sleep. I would have time to wind down. I would use the like red light filters on my phone and my computer at night. But for some reason, none of it was ever enough. I always felt like there was something missing. Every morning I felt more tired than I thought I should, which inevitably made me think about sleep even more. But the problem wasn't my sleep. I was doing everything I could. It was my extremely high standards and my negative beliefs. I just kept going over everything involving my sleep. I was like, there's something has to be missing. Oh, I don't feel energized enough because, oh yeah, yeah, last night I viewed too much bright light. Oh yeah, in the morning, the day before, I barely got any morning sunlight, so that's probably why I feel really tired right now. Obviously, those things affected my sleep, but I was doing almost everything I could every single day. I was on point most of the time. Even Andrew Huberman says that you should aim for good sleep for 80% of your life, but I wanted great sleep for 100% of my life. Even on the nights where I felt like I did everything right, I would wake up the next morning feeling like something's wrong. What did I miss? Something is not right. I always felt like I should be more awake in the mornings and I was acutely aware of this tiredness I felt in the morning which only enhanced my feelings of tiredness. So I was doing everything I could. I was doing the protocols, using the tools. And so the problem wasn't my sleep or that I wasn't doing enough. The problem was self-inflicted. It was my own beliefs that were harming me. My mindset around sleep is what actually made my sleep worse when I was trying to make it better. My own desire to perfect my sleep was the thing that was harming my sleep. So the thing that I sought out to improve in the first place was actually getting worse because I was so obsessed over it. Over the past year, I've gotten very into health optimization, and you probably have as well, trying to find and maximize every supplement, protocol, and tool out there. The world of health optimization just keeps getting bigger and bigger. There are just more and more Andrew Huberman watching, supplement taking, health optimizing people out there who wanna get the most out of their health and especially their sleep. And obviously, since I'm into health optimization, I got really into sleep. And if you have gotten extremely into improving your sleep, you can probably relate to my story. And when you get into this situation, it's a terrible negative feedback loop. You first feel that your sleep isn't good enough, which makes you stress and obsess over it, but that actually makes your sleep worse. And so since you feel like your sleep is getting worse, it loops back around and reinforces the idea that you need to improve your sleep. So there's just this negative obsession cycle that just keeps going and going and going. I was completely overthinking the entire thing. Perfectionism doesn't work with anything, but it especially doesn't work with sleep because of how complicated it is. There is so much nuance to sleep. You cannot put sleep in a box. You can't have perfect sleep every single night. You're not gonna wake up feeling amazing the same exact way, even if you do everything the same the day before. It's just not how it works. You're not gonna go to bed at the same time or get the same amount of sleep every night. But even if you were to do that, you're not gonna wake up feeling the same every morning. You just aren't going to wake up most mornings brimming with energy, ready to get the day going, even if you technically did do everything right. And it's funny because the people who know nothing about sleep, who, who don't care about health optimization, optimization or sleep optimization, they are actually getting the same quality of sleep as someone who's on the other side of the spectrum, who's insanely obsessed with sleep. There is bliss to that ignorance because you aren't worried at all. Before, when you knew nothing about sleep optimization, you just went to bed every night, woke up and were like, this is just how it is. You didn't know about circadian rhythm or sleep cycles or morning sunlight exposure, but at the same time, you didn't know that your sleep could be so much better if you just did a few good things. But now you're probably on the complete opposite end. You're super obsessed about it. You're like, you're tracking your sleep. You're like, every morning, you're like, oh wait, wait, why was my HRV down last night? Did I do something wrong? Wait, but my sleep score is actually 70. I, I feel like it should be like an 80, but maybe it really is a 70. Maybe my sleep wasn't as good as I thought it was. Oh, maybe it's because I missed some protocols last night. I, I didn't uh, go to bed as early as I wanted and, and I didn't view uh, enough morning sunlight and, the, and so when you obsess like this, it ends up harming you. Imagine this, you might be getting the same quality of sleep as the ignorant person who knows nothing about health or sleep optimization and you are doing everything you can to improve your sleep. But because you're so obsessed over it, you're harming it to the point where you're getting the same quality of sleep as a person who knows nothing. This is the curse of health optimization. It's the pitfall that so many people fall into and the one that I have fallen into. I wanted the great sleep, but I would constantly complain that my sleep wasn't good enough. I started to believe things that were harming my sleep. I genuinely thought that I had some like rare condition or something that made my sleep worse, like that made me get sleep that 
everyone else was somehow just getting way better sleep than me without even trying and that there was some problem with me. My dad told me that it seemed like I was the one that struggled the most with sleep even though I was the one that did the most for health and fitness. I was making my sleep worse and making myself more tired by trying to perfect and optimize my sleep to the most insane level. On the bell curve of optimization, there's a sweet spot in the middle, but when you go too far, it drops back off and you start harming your sleep by caring so much about it, by stressing so much about it. This is actually something called sleep anxiety. And if you relate to my story, you probably have sleep anxiety. It's feeling worried or stressed or anxious about your sleep. If you were to stress so much about your sleep, your sleep gets worse. It sounds super obvious, but a lot of us that are into health just go down this path. How do you get rid of sleep anxiety? Well, it starts with a shift in mindset and basically just caring less. It's kind of a funny paradox because you have to care less in order for your sleep to get better. At a certain point, caring too much harms your sleep. There are a couple beliefs that I held that were really limiting me and very negative for my sleep. One of them was that I believed I should be feeling so much more awake every morning, that I should be like brimming with energy every single morning. What this made me believe was that since I woke up and I naturally felt tired and groggy getting out of bed for the first like couple of minutes and I felt a little bit tired in the morning, I believed that I had some medical condition, some problem with me. This reinforced the idea that my sleep wasn't good enough and the belief I was just someone that didn't get good sleep, that I always felt tired in the morning. And there was no reason for me to believe that because it literally wasn't true and it just kept making my sleep worse. The other belief was that I just constantly felt tired in the morning. No matter what I did, I would just feel tired throughout the morning. And especially because I was in school, there's a reason why I'm sitting through class and I feel tired. You just have to sit, listen to the teacher, it's boring, you're not really doing anything active. Obviously, I'm gonna feel tired. But me believing that I should have a lot of energy in the morning and that I shouldn't feel tired at all, that only perpetuated my tiredness. I kept focusing on it. I thought that what was natural was something that was wrong with me. With health optimization and with all this, you have to be softer on yourself and stop obsessing so much. There really is only so much that you can do. Like I said, health optimization is about doing as much as you can with what you have to improve that thing. And if you are doing as much as you can, like I was, there's no reason to think these negative thoughts or have these negative beliefs. You do get good sleep, but you're not gonna do every protocol every day. You're not gonna get morning sunlight for 20 minutes every single morning. You're not gonna get eight hours of sleep every night. It's just, there's things that aren't going to always happen. There's so much variability with sleep. Find those negative beliefs, those things that were holding you back. Like for me, I felt that I was constantly tired in the morning, that I was just someone that couldn't wake up well in the morning and I'd always feel sleepy. And that only made things worse for me. Find those things that are stressing you out about sleep and just disprove them all the time. The only reason that I was waking up and feeling like that was because it's natural to wake up and feel tired. You're not going to be brimming with energy right when you wake up. That's what I had to keep telling myself because it's the truth but you're making yourself believe these weird lies and you're saying it's for your health optimization but it's really harming you. You got to start reinforcing the healthy beliefs. Your sleep is optimized already. Remember that you're doing what you can with what you have. Just find out what you are overthinking with your sleep and stop doing it. Reinforce the healthy beliefs that disprove those beliefs. And then you'll start to have a healthy relationship with your sleep. You'll no longer have sleep anxiety. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you or you can relate to that. If you're a sleep optimizer like me, it's just so easy to fall into that area where you just start caring way too much. You get obsessed and it becomes unhealthy. Perfect is the enemy of good. You wanna get good sleep, right? Maybe you wanna get great sleep, but not perfect sleep. If you're doing what you can, then you're already getting the best sleep sleep possible. If you want to see more stuff about health and self-improvement and fitness and scroll down right now and subscribe, join the movement, join the tribe. I now post twice a week and I'm, I'm going to try to be upping that in the future and just keep giving you guys more and more content. Thank you again for watching and like always, never stop improving. You'll be grateful for it later.